We have here a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta. It's a 1.9 liter TDI ALH engine. And uh, the customer initially brought it to us because they bumped something in the front. And we put a used grill and a used hood on it. And we found silver ones that matched really well and were in good shape. So he ended up getting a nice cheap repair. The um, core support's a little broken right here, so he has a gap here. So his uh, headlights are a bit cross-eyed, but uh, it's still a good cheap repair that uh, he can squeeze some more miles out of the car. But that's not the reason for this video. The reason for this video is he has a flashing immobilizer light and a check engine light. So we have here, as you can see, our immobilizer light flashing. And of course our check engine light is on. I've already did an auto scan and I found something interesting so I thought I'd make a video about it. Okay, we did an auto scan and let's get it looked at. And here inside the engine computer, there is one fault, 16.512 P0128 coolant thermostat valve temperature below control range. That usually just means the thermostat's stuck. Um, and as we scroll down, we have in the transmission computer a 01314 engine control module incorrectly equipped. Now, I assume either one of these can turn on the check engine light, but it uh, wouldn't be very interesting for us to do a video on just changing the thermostat. So let's see if we can get this one figured out, and uh, obviously we'll probably change the thermostat for that one. Okay, I'm not real familiar with this 01314 code, and anytime I have a code that I'm not real familiar with or I don't know the solution to, I use Rostec site as information resource. And as I look at their site here, I'm seeing this 01314 trouble code, and they're giving me these this information here. Now, right off the bat, I have to point out, this says engine control module, no communication. My trouble code is defined as engine control module, incorrectly equipped. So this doesn't directly apply, um, but it says possible causes here. Can data bus wiring connectors to and from engine control module faulty? Fault stored in engine control module. In control, engine control module recently flashed or remapped. When, you, or when you're flashing or installing new software into an engine computer, it shuts it down, and the transmission computer is on during this time, so it might, not, it might notice that the engine computer is shut down, and it might trigger trouble codes of no communications. But once again, I don't have a no communication trouble code. If we go on down a little bit farther, it's, it's also defined here as 01314 engine control module check data trouble code memory. That would be the transmission computer telling us to check codes in the engine control module. So that doesn't really apply to our situation. So what we need to look at is what we have together here. We have an immobilizer light flashing and this 01314 code. So let me go back in the car here. Okay, so we have to look at why the immobilizer light is flashing, but yet the car is running. You could have real simple failures, like let's say the you drop your key and the chip in the key breaks, and then the car won't run anymore because the immobilizer isn't working. Uh, the light would flash at you and the car would start and die. Um, and that someone might solve that problem by doing immobilizer delete to the engine computer out there, and the immobilizer delete um, would allow the car to run, but the immobilizer light would flash. There's other reasons people would do an immobilizer delete, for instance, communication problems that interfere with the ability of the instrument cluster to share the OK to run signal to the engine computer. And if that happened, um, doing the immobilizer delete would allow the car to run, but you'd still have the uh, communication problem. Um, also, if you have an instrument cluster fail, you, could, you, you can't just change the instrument cluster because it has to be programmed, and people can't do that, so they always want to do an in, um, uh, immobilizer delete to the engine computer, and that'll allow the car to run. Uh, also, the same thing with the engine computer. If the engine computer fails and they replace it, uh, the car won't run, uh, so they do immobilizer delete to it. So, I have to assume that one of those scenarios has happened here. And since we have a transmission computer telling us that the engine control module is incorrectly equipped, maybe we should assume the engine computer was replaced. So, now I have to say, this engine computer runs this car just fine. I've driven it, the engine runs just fine, it just triggers a code in the transmission computer. 
Now, if you, if you need to understand, the transmission computer absolutely has the ability to turn on the check engine light. Uh, many different transmission trouble codes will turn on the check engine light. So if we're going to assume that the engine computer was replaced, how could it be wrong? It's obviously right because it runs the car, right? Obviously, it's controlling the turbo, it's controlling the injection pump, uh, it's receiving input from all the sensors. Just the transmission computer don't like something about it. So if we assume it's been replaced, what could be wrong about it? Now the immediate thing that comes to mind is maybe it comes from a manual transmission car. So let's go into the VAGCOM and see if this engine computer is set up for a manual transmission car. I'll turn the key on so we can scan and I'll go back to the laptop. Okay, so let's get into this engine computer. And inside the engine computer, you see this right here is coding. And coding makes it sound like it's programming or something like that. It's not really programming, it's just selecting different options. And so we can change this coding. And so soft coding here doesn't tell us what it is. But if we click coding here, and then we highlight over, VAGCOM shows us what it is. And you can see our uh, number two stands for manual transmission for front wheel drive with crash shut off. Now this is an automatic car. This right here is probably our whole explanation of why it's like that. So we need to change this coding to 001 for automatic transmission. Um, here's an also uh, coding 11 for automatic transmission, only 038906012 GK. That's a part number. That isn't what we have in this circumstance. We need the 001. So I'm going to cancel this, do coding, change it to 01. and click do it. And you see right here our coding changed to 001. Now Volkswagen computers do not accept this coding unless you turn the key off and turn it back on. So we're going to close the controller and then turn the key off. There's our key. And turn the key back on, and we'll go back into the engine. And now our coding shows 001. Now, I'm not sure where the automatic transmission computer is going to clear that out automatically. Let's go look. Okay, so it still says incorrectly equipped. We'll clear it and we'll see if it reoccurs. That message there doesn't mean anything. It just means you need to go back in and check again. And it has no codes. I'm going to take it for a drive to see if that solved our trouble code. If our code doesn't reoccur on a few drives, then we'll know that's a good fix. Of course, we'll also need to remove the instrument cluster and disable the immobilizer light from flashing. I have a video on doing that if you want to watch it. It's up in the corner right there. If somebody knows of a different way to make that light stop flashing. I know there's no way to do it in the engine computer. Uh, there's no way to do it with VAGCOM. But if there's somebody out there offering a service of reflashing the instrument cluster in order to make the immobilizer light not flash, I'm open to it. But for now, disabling it by removing the instrument cluster and doing it mechanically is a good fix and it's cheap. So uh, if somebody knows of a better way, feel free to post it in the comments. Okay, Bob has fixed the immobilizer light and we have no more immobilizer light flashing and of course no check engine light. We just road tested this and I want to verify you have no trouble code so I'll scan it and Verify no trouble codes reoccurred on the test drive. Okay, we'll check the auto transfers because that's where we had the 01314 code. If you can hear some rumble in the background, there's a motorcycle running behind our shop and it's loud. And fault codes. 
no fault codes after the test drive. Might as well check the engine computer because we had the thermostat code. We fixed that as well. And no codes there also. Uh, might as well, oh, just confirm here our coding is now for uh, automatic transmission. This was a fairly easy diagnosis and um, we did, did a pretty good job for the customer on this including the repairing the crash panels and and uh, getting the lights off on the dash so it doesn't look like the common Volkswagen with it lit up like a Christmas tree and if you uh, like this video or you learned anything from it be sure to click the like button and if you want to donate to the continued production of these videos find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com hey, and if you want to watch more of my videos there'll be one up there and one right there and don't forget to subscribe right there thanks for watching